untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another standard games video. Today we're taking a look at a Junt Obnixilis deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon, featuring four copies of the new Planeswalker Obnixilis the Adversary. Starts out at 3 loyalty and has Casualty X, meaning as we cast it, we may sacrifice a creature with power X. When we do, copy this spell and it will enter with X loyalty on it and the copy isn't legendary, which is very important for this deck because that means we can copy the non-legendary token with a Seekas Cherry it. Yes, you can copy Planeswalkers with Chariot as well, so we can potentially get multiple copies of Obnixilis in play to completely overwhelm the opponent. We can use the plus one to make each opponent lose two life unless they discard a card, and if we control a demon or devil, we gain two life as well, which is convenient as the minus two creates a 1-1 devil token that when it dies deals one damage to any target, and if we ever get to the minus seven, we can make target player draw seven cards and lose seven life. Can be a way to burn the opponents out essentially or draw a ton of cards as we have the life gain from the plus one to make up for it. So that's our goal, copy up Nixels with Chariot, and we can play Chariot as early as turn 3 in this deck, either with a Sentinel, potentially tapping another untapped creature to make 1 mana, we could play turn 2 Innkeeper, which makes a treasure, which sets up, or turn 3 Chariot, and we also have Deadly Dispute, sacrificing a 1 drop, making a treasure, so we can play Chariot on turn 3, and then it's much better to play Chariot first and then Obnixilus, so we can immediately crew Chariot and then copy Obnixilus the turn we play it. And the higher creature we sacrifice in terms of power, the more casualty, the bigger the copy of Obnixilus will be if we copy it with Chariot, although for the most part we're sacrificing one-powered creatures. At one mana we're also playing the full set of Unlucky Witness, that when it dies lets us exile the top two cards of our library, and until our next end step we may play one of those cards, providing a nice bit of card advantage. Eye Twitch when it dies lets us learn as a 1-1 flyer, and we've got our seven sideboard lessons to choose from in best of one, including environment mental sciences to find one of our three basic lands, good necrotic fumes as removal, containment breach deals with artifacts and enchantments, pass summoning makes more sacrifice fodder, we've got introduction to prophecy as card draw, mascot exhibition as a finisher, and confront to past could also get back up Nixilis or deal with opposing planeswalkers. And then at 1 mana we also have a new removal spell, Strangle deals 3 damage to a creature or planeswalker at sorcery speed, and another great addition in this deck has been the Tenacious Underdog, a 3-2 creature that we can cast using its blitz cost from our graveyard, so for 2 and double black and 2 life we can replay it from our graveyard, it will enter the battlefield with haste, so we can attack with it right away, and if this creature dies we get to draw a card, and at the beginning of our next end step we have to sacrifice it, which will also result in us drawing a card. So that can potentially be sacrificed to Obnixilus to have a much larger Obnixilus thanks to Casualty, and then we can also use it as a nice card draw engine with Obnixilus life gain to kind of make up for the life loss from Blitz. And then Deadly Dispute, additional card draw, great synergy with all the one drop creatures in our deck. And then of course Innkeeper as we mentioned, two copies of the Meat Hook Massacre, still a nice way to clean up all those go wide aggro decks, and can also slowly drain the opponent as our creatures die. And then River Tears Charm, another important piece of the puzzle, can be used as removal, making the opponent sacrifice their biggest creature or planeswalker, and we can also use it as card advantage by exiling the top three cards of our library, and until our next end step we may play those cards, so you want to play this in the opponent's turn, so you can untap and have a full turn to play all those cards from exile, and because the curve of our deck is so low, we can often play all three cards from Exile, especially in the mid to late game. And then our mana base only has room for one creature land, unfortunately, have one of each basic to go with environmental sciences, and then plenty of fixing with all 12 pathways, and two of each of the Midnight Hunt dual lands. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, what do we think of this one? Could use a bit more action, but we do have Deadly Dispute to draw. I'll give it a shot. And then make sure we have green mana for a turn to Innkeeper. Sentinel. Could play it here, but if we top deck a chariot, I want to be able to play it, so I'll keep the treasure. Could play Sentinel. I think I'll hang on to my treasure for now. Alright, put on the blue white Magecraft deck potentially with a Virtuoso can potentially yield quite a bit of damage out of nowhere. So I can play Sentinel. 
and then still keep up Riveteer's Charm and Deadly Dispute. And the Sentinel would technically trade for a Virtuoso. Gets around most protection effects like shield counters or hexproof as well. So it should be pretty good in this type of matchup. So the plan's probably going to be block Virtuoso if it attacks with our Sentinel. And if they play a pump spell, can just go for deadly disputes and then reconsider for next turn. Opponent plays a Drake. In that case, do I still want to deadly dispute? Or I can just take my draw step. Could also play Riveteer's Charms second mode. Maybe that's okay. Since we have a decent amount of mana to work with. Strangle, not a bad removal spell. Although Meat Hook Massacre for one could also clean up. I think we can be patient. And then for now, just strangle the Storm Chaser Drake, I want to say. As that actually draws extra cards. And then I'll hang on to Deadly Dispute and my author Innkeeper. Right, there's a show of confidence. That works. So now a 3-3 Virtuoso. So I can still meet hook for 3 next turn. So might as well jump and dispute. And then use this for mana. On the off chance I draw another dispute I can cast. Strangle, not bad either, so that can deal with Virtuoso. And then hang on to my Massacre. Although I don't think I want to play Innkeeper necessarily. So yeah, not drawing Chariot or Obnixilus to apply pressure is too bad. But at least we've got removal to keep up. Delver of Secrets is their only threat here. So still not really incentivized to pull the trigger on Massacre. I guess I can attack for one. Trade one damage for one damage. Another Virtuoso. And an Eye Twitch. Okay, so I could attack with the Sentinel and then Massacre for a couple points, and then maybe play an Eye Twitch and Innkeeper afterwards. So let's say they have another Show of Confidence, probably want to Massacre for three at least. Right. Opponents got a way to save the Virtuoso. And we can still go Innkeeper plus Eye Twitch. Could have also gone Innkeeper into Innkeeper into Eye Twitch. Hang on to my extra mana for now, I suppose. So slip out the back, the new one mana, combo trick. Fine jumping with Eye Twitch. Could go for a mask on exhibition, could go for a removal spell or a card draw spell. Definitely have a few options. Problem with mask on exhibition is that it doesn't necessarily attack past the Virtuoso. But I think it's still probably the pick. And then the next eye twitch can maybe get a Necronic Fumes to deal with Virtuoso. Strangle could also work, although... Safe to assume they have a way to protect it. Still gonna fire it off here. Start by attacking. It's gonna be a show of confidence. Opponent gets to connive. And then now the question is, do I exhibition when they could have another Jory Disruption? 
Uh, maybe I don't. Just go for Innkeeper. Because it don't seem like they're holding on to something. Take eight. Another Delver. Okay, can okay, exhibition. Gaining six life. And we'll attack for two. So would love to pick up Obnixilus. Riveteer's Charm at this point is amazing too, essentially a draw three. Could also answer the Virtuoso, of course. So I think we take it. Small chance they have enough pump spells to kill me here. With like multiple copies of Show of Confidence, but there's already a couple in the graveyard. Deadly Dispute's nice. Could play the main phase, could wait for them to attack, chump, and then dispute. Delver finally transforms, revealing slip out the back. And Virtuoso stays back. Okay. Another Delver. Do I want a Deadly Dispute now is a question. Could also attack into the Virtuoso and then Deadly Dispute my 4-4 presumably. Get in some extra damage. Although if I miss on finding some creatures I could just be dead to the Virtuoso. So it's not without risk. Versus using Dispute now, could also just sack a treasure token, I suppose. Yeah, I guess I should, especially if I find Riveteer's Charm. Might be able to put that to use in my end step. Another Dispute. Don't mind if I do. Alright, and the Riveteer's Charm. We'll have to sack a treasure for it. Seems worthwhile, since we know about... Slip out the back, it's not gonna deal with Virtuoso. So I think we want to draw. So chaining together a ton of cards and another Riveteer's Charm. I do suspect they have another Jory Disruption in hand. So maybe I want to untap first. Strangle can deal with the Insect Elaboration. If they save it, then Charm deals with Virtuoso, which is probably a bigger threat. So that worked. And then what's next? If I Riveteer's Charm, they slip out the back, they lose all their blockers essentially. So that seems fine. So that's what our opponent does. Delver down. And then we can just attack with a team. Opponent does have a Fading Hope. Alright, so that keeps them in the game. They're at three, but only one card in hand. So, this should do it. Sacrifice doesn't matter too much. Innkeeper's fine. Can make a double. I'm gonna remake, this town in my make the opponents discard a card. <laughs> Otherwise they're dead. Doing and then another of Nixilis can come down. Sacrifice, doesn't matter. Devil. Can deal one damage. And then we've got two more Obnixil's activations. 
and the Mito Massacre closes out the game. Awesome, so nice back and forth with the blue-white Virtuoso deck. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand is okay, not perfect, but can eventually I twitch sack to Deadly Dispute with the Strangler's interaction. Turn one Usher, happy to destroy. Although now I could just play my own Eye Twitch, opponent might not want to attack into it. And then keep Strangle for a more threatening creature. Although ideally we still get to sacrifice Eye Twitch to Deadly Dispute. Opponent does attack. How do we feel about that? Well, I can still trade and then maybe get Pest Summoning. And our opponent just boasting turn 2, so not the most aggressive start. Yeah, I think Pest Summoning makes sense. Don't need more lands. Not gonna strangle. So, sure, play tap lands. And then next turn, Pathway on green. There's Adlin. Not what we wanted to see. Survives a single strangle. Second double strangle, Adlin. Don't feel great about that. Alternative is Pest Summoning, which also doesn't do a whole lot on this board. So double strangle it is. Four toughness, definitely a big deal in this new format. Hopefully pick up something like Meat Hook Massacre eventually to clean up these tokens. Thalia, pretty good against our handful of non-creature spells. So, could go for Sentinel, keep up Deadly Dispute in case it gets removed. And for now holds off the 1-1 one -one tokens. Thalia and the tokens attack. In that case we'll block. And I Gancho to take out Sentinel, perfect. Get to Dispute. Couple of lanes, not exactly what we were hoping for. And another Sentinel. So it can run back the same play as last turn. Seems reasonable. Hoping for a chariot. Hope Nixels could be okay. Right, another strangle. Could deal with Thalia. And there's Obnixilus. Okay, so now we're starting to get somewhere. Do I still want to kill Thalia? I think so. We could potentially kill Thalia with the one damage from a Devil token, but then we're also paying more for Obnixilus. This turn, if I strangle for two mana, I could pass summoning and Underdog. And then next turn I can maybe Obnixilus. They could have another Thalia in hand for all we know. But seems okay for now. And then we can play our Obnixilus, hopefully on a slightly more stable board. And then we'll decide whether to sack the underdog or a pest token. Opponent sends in the team. So... Don't mind blocking Cathar with Underdog. They might have the Wandering Emperor to put a plus one counter on first strike. But I think I'm okay baiting that out. And then next turn I'll have the mana to Blitz Underdog and play Obnixilus. So I think trading off everything is fine. And there's Wandering Emperor. Could have kept one of the pest tokens to make sure we actually kill Wandering Emperor, but this should be fine. Mm, 
draw Unlucky Witness, which I can also play here. Just obedience. And then, do I want to make two Devils? I think so. Before we start draining. You work for me now, Runt. Another Cathar exiles a devil. And Emperor can plus. Show them how we so we'll jump with a witness. See a couple more cards. Riveteer's Charm would deal with the Wandering Emperor. Help Nixilis can start plussing. Start there. Defy me, and you lose everything. The life gain also pairs nicely with the underdog. Plead for mercy. So what's next? If I blitz underdog, we can still Riveteer's Charm. I Twitch would also be fine, so I definitely have quite a few options. I think I like underdog blitz. And then go after Emperor. And then I'm fine with a block or this taking out their Planeswalker. We get to draw. And then we can Riveteer's Charm. Now they do have a Crawling Barons as well to apply pressure with. Adlin is bad news. So the game's not over yet. <laughs> Keep up Nixil surrounds. Strangles, not bad. Okay, so I can kill Adlin by combining Obnixilus with Strangle. And this is conveniently the legendary Planeswalker. Don't think you're some... oh, I have a job. Could also Blitz Underdog, see if they block, and then I can keep my Strangle. I guess it's fair. So we'll start here. This can plus. Me, Underdog attacks. Opponent takes it. In that case, I'll be forced to Obnixilus. And then I'll have to sacrifice my Devil token. Which does mean that... Uh, the opponent gets to kill one of my Planeswalkers with Brutal Cathar, but killing Adlin is too important. And then strangle Adlin. Can make another token here to protect our Planeswalkers. And plus once again. Okay. Not quite happy with this underdog drawing us extra cards. And the life gain from Obnixilis is making sure we uh, don't fall too far behind. Is it time for Crawling Barons at long last? Nope. Just a Brutal Cathar going after Obnixilis. I'll chomp. So Baron's maybe trying to block Tenacious Underdog, but yeah, between 3 damage from Underdog, maybe 6 more from Obnixilis, it's too much for the opponent to overcome, and they scoop it up. So nice close game against Mono White Aggro, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and hand looks acceptable. Witness into a turn 2 Underdog, sets up Obnixilis, and we can decide which one to sacrifice, although Underdog makes sense, giving us more loyalty. And then Deadly Dispute will combo nicely with our Witness as well.
opponent black-white, so they might have a way of exiling the underdog. Well, for now we can attack. And then Chariot is quite exciting too. Vanishing Verse attempting to exile the underdog. So if I dispute, we get to keep underdog in our graveyard, which may be worth it. And then I kind of wanted to play Chariot before Obnixilus anyway. And then I could play either Innkeeper or Eyetwitch, or I guess technically both. But want to make sure we have enough mana for Chariot next turn. I guess that will be the case. Don't want to overextend into Massacre for one, potentially. So, yeah, let's go for just an Eye Twitch here. Wedding Announcements makes a token. And we can attack. Play Chariots. And I'll keep some of these creatures in hand, again, in case of a sweeper. Opponent goes end of turn. Announcement makes another token. So opponent could be holding Wandering Emperor here. Which is reason not to necessarily attack with Chariot, although we would get to copy up Nixilis in the process. Which still kind of works out. So... Yeah, I think going for Obnixils here is reasonable. Probably sacking the Unlucky Witness. Although I could crew the uh, Chariot first, I suppose. And see what else we exile. Can grab a land. Nixels can minus. And then plus. And we'll move to combats and then even have a deadly dispute to sack chariots if it comes down to it. There's a Wandering Emperor, as expected. I hope you're ready to lose. It's gonna exile the chariots. We get to draw. Also denying the two life. And Obnixils can still plus. And then probably okay to play another one drop out at least. Let's go with Eye Twitch so we can pressure the Wandering Emperor. And then we don't really mind if Eye Twitch dies. So now triple Nixil is in play. We've got the edge in this fight. Opponent sends both tokens. So got a few options here. If I just jump with a Devil, because of first rank damage we get to kill the other 1-1 one, one token. Might be okay. Opponent could have a Meat Hook Massacre that they're planning to cast here anyways. But now I'm forcing them to cast it for X equals 2. Could have also done 1 damage to the Wandering Emperor. Right, opponent's got a Deadly Dispute. And do we see a Massacre? Nope, another Deadly Dispute. I guess we could still see Massacre for one here. Just gonna be a second wedding announcement. Alright, so we get to pressure the Emperor with our Eye Twitch. And we still have Triple Obnixilus in play, so that's nice. So how about we Blitz the Underdog, maybe after playing Innkeeper, which also offsets the life loss. And 
and then we can keep on plussing. Don't have a devil or a demon in play, but that's okay. Your punishment is my Opponent starts discarding. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Discards three lands. Okay, so I'll face. A cat can finish off Wandering Emperor. And I'll keep some leftovers here. Underdog dies, draw a card from Blitz. And a Riveteer's Charm could be excellent as well. And yeah, tripled Nixil is too much for the opponent to overcome. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Our hand is pretty interesting. No Chariot or Nixilis. Double Underdog, I guess, plays well with Innkeeper. Yeah, it's worth a try. Don't get to play Witness on one. Probably Underdog on two. Facing White Aggro. There's our Chariot, so now I'm interested in Innkeeper. To ramp into Chariot on three. Hoping there's no Thalia. And if there is, we can still double spell Underdog and Witness. Take one. And it's going to be another Initiate instead. Perfect, so time for Chariot. And best case scenario, top deck of Nixilis. Brutal Cathar can exile a token. Can still crew chariots if we really want here, not that it matters. And Underdog can help us crew as well. Crew chariots, and then probably kill Cathar so they cannot trade for chariots. And at that point we can attack with both, fine trading a cat for an initiate. Put on double blocks. And add a witness to the board. And then we still have underdog we can blitz next turn. Spellbinder, I guess, you can make that a bit more expensive. But we're in good shape. So Blitzing costs 6 mana now, just double checking. So we can play Underdog. And then, yeah, probably okay to Crew Chariot and trade it off for a bunch of creatures. And get aggressive. Try and solidify our advantage. Opponent reconsiders how they want to block. Decides to just take it, down to 7. So if they have something like Adversary to pump their team, they might be able to stabilize. But uh, yeah, they're pretty far behind right now. Yep, there's Adversary. Definitely a reason not to trade off their creatures last turn. So we're just a removal spell away from putting this game away. I'll take an Obnixilus of the top two. That lead dispute's nice. Sacrifice Witness. Probably after crewing it. Finding Innkeeper, Sentinel, and the Riveteer's Charm. So this right now would get rid of Spellbinder. Could also keep it around as a way to draw more cards. So, yeah, we can probably attack with everyone but Innkeeper. 
and then see our opponent blocks before deciding what to do next. Alright, our opponent has seen enough, just too far behind, thanks to that early chariot. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and what do we think of this hand? Pretty awkward, missing black mana, can't even play innkeeper on two. So I think I'm gonna have to pass. This hand is also pretty awkward. But it does have chariots and subnixilis with an innkeeper to potentially play on turn 2 if we find an untapped land along the way. So do I bottom another chariot, which is probably reasonable, or maybe an underdog. Kind of like underdog as a card engine with Obnixilis, something we can play if we miss a land drop. Right, this is just going to be an eye twitch for now. Facing blue-white, so it could be a control deck. So getting an early Planeswalker or Chariot established is key. Delver of Secrets, alright, never mind. Looks like more of a pump spell deck, which we've already faced. So time for Innkeeper, then Chariot, then Omnixilus, I think. Might as well attack. Take two. And there's a Virtuoso, the new addition can be quite scary. Okay. Time for chariots. And I Twitch can attack. And the next time, hopefully, we get to copy of Nixilis. Opponent pumping Virtuoso end of turn. Delver still just a wizard. Guiding voice pumps Virtuoso. They get to learn and connive. Definitely a matchup where Vatir's charm is at its best. Gets probation. Can prevent blocking, maybe prevent us from casting up Nixilis if they feel like they've got uh, the read on us. For Joso attacks would be for 10. I think we still take it. And probation names. The Meat Hook Massacre. And another Delver, okay. So Eye Twitch is probably staying back on defense as a flying blocker. Could maybe sacrifice Underdog to Obnixilus to have a bit more loyalty. And then we can start Blitzing as well. So... Play Underdog. Crew Chariots. And then play Obnixilus, sacrificing Underdog. I don't need respect. Just don't Chariot attacks, and let's say both cats or one cat. Let's do one cat for now. 
Copy of Nixilis. And then we get to make a few devils and drain them for a bit as well. Okay. Opponent's got one card in hand. Let's see if Delver transforms. Does not. And our opponent explodes. Triple Obnixilus, about to be four. Too much for them to overcome. Alright, so yeah, we got to see our Junt Nixilus deck in action and certainly did what it was designed to do, which is copy of Nixilus, sacrifice lots of creatures, kind of outgrind and outvalue our opponent. Was quite impressed by the underdog drawing cards alongside the life gain from Innkeeper and Obnixilus, so it seems very nice as kind of a two-off. Could maybe go up to three copies, and then the Meathook Massacre remains one of the key sweepers in standard, important to deal with those go-wide aggro decks, and then was also quite pleased with Strangle as a one-mana removal spell, also reason to kind of take a look at your creatures, if they go up to 4 toughness, they might be a little bit better in this upcoming standard than before. So that'll do it for today's gameplay, wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day! I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.